Hi, my name is Sam Merriman, and well, this is how Jesus changed my life. Didn't grow up a Christian, didn't grow up in a Christian home. My sophomore year, I made friends with some Christians. These Christians invited me to a Bible study. So my junior year, I started going to a Bible study. The reason I started going is because there was pizza and we played basketball. It was awesome. <laughs> Fast forward to February of my junior year, um, the place I was working at, I worked with a Christian. It was my age. And I was telling him all about my super cool Bible study I go to every week. I'm like, dude, we play basketball for like an hour and then we eat pizza. It's so awesome. He's like, you should totally come. I was the non-Christian inviting a Christian to a Bible study. And he said, yeah, I'll come with you on Tuesday. Bible study is on Tuesday. If you come with me to youth group on Thursday. It's a deal. He comes Tuesday, plays basketball with us, eats pizza with us. And then Thursday, we're at work. It's Valentine's Day 2008. And he says, hey, man, you coming tonight? And I was like, uh, um, he's like, dude, you said you were coming. I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll come. So I ended up going to youth group that night. And because it was Valentine's Day, the pastor was teaching about how God is love. And I got there late. And I was, like, you know, kind of popular kid, but not super popular in high school. So my appearance mattered a lot to me. And I get there kind of late. And the only, the room is packed. The only place to sit is in, on a couch next to two people that I recognize, but I don't know. All my friends, I have a bunch of friends there. They're all sprawling across the room. And the pastor that night is talking out of 1 John where it says, God is love. And the pastor was talking about how God loves us unconditionally. That no matter what, no matter what we do, no matter what we've done, he still loves us the same. And after he taught, I remember sitting there being like, I want that. And after he taught, he had some students share about how much they love God. And I'm watching people my age weep as they're talking about the way they love God. And I thought to myself, I want to be loved by somebody unconditionally, and I want to be passionate like that. Then I went home, and I'm laying in my bed, and I'm drenched in a cold sweat. And I remember thinking over and over again, if I do this, I'm going to die. If I do this, I'm going to die. I did not understand what I was talking about. Paul says this. Paul says, for I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I live in the flesh, I now live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. And I can remember praying. I don't know what I prayed, but I prayed. And I'll never forget how the Holy Spirit came into me. And I breathed this breath, which was the most amazing breath I could ever breathe. And I'm sitting there like, what just happened? What happened was, I chose to accept this truth. That I have been crucified with Christ. Meaning, he paid for my sins. It's no longer I live, but Christ who lives in me. My life is now through him, because of him, and surrounded by him. And a life I now live in the flesh, because I'm still alive, I live by faith. That I live trusting him day in and day out. Why? Because he loved me and gave himself for me. Jesus loved me and I wanted to be a part of that. He still loves me. And the invitation stands for anyone. That if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart, you can be saved as well. And you can experience the love that goes deep, deep, and changes our lives and keeps us secure forever. In short, my, my story is that Jesus loved me enough to save me. I'm thankful for that.